Hi fellow collectors, again this is Brian o from Toys TV. This is the program called Figure Talk in English. Okay, so this is a toys review program for myself. Uh, so this video is supposed to be a uh, host on my own channel, Brian o channel, but you could see those videos in Toys TV as well. So today we are going to show you this figures is from DID Corporations and this is 1-6 scale US Ranger Battalion in World War II and this one's called Serge in Hovick. Uh, this figures um, probably is come from the concept of a famous movie called Saving Private Ryan and this could be the character one of the character who going to save Brian and this is called Sergeant Hovick and I think this could be I think this is the fourth or fifth fifth figures from this series and I hope I could collect them more because all together there is nine nine figures or eight figures you know the team to, to search for Brian and including Brian so it should be about eight to eight, nine figures totally. So this one is Sergeant Horvick and uh, this guy's uh, fight bravely uh, until the end of the movies. And this is a Sergeant figures and from the second Ranger Battalion. Okay, um, let's see the details of the figures. And you could see right now we have all the gears gearing up on the figure so first of all we have the Bangalore yeah this one is made of metal and with all the details informations printed and this is specifically for the landing attack in the European battlefield in World War II. Altogether is three of them and can be installed into one complete one to submit the explosive to break the you know the facilities of the German size. And also, see the small accessory first. And there's free canteen. I think they're also made of made of metal. And you could remember in the movies there is, uh, you know, he is collecting the soil from different battlefield. The first battlefield is Africa and then France and Italy. I think it's Italy and then France. Anyway, this is the path of Sergei Hovick and it's showing on the movie so we can we could remember this is the accessory of him. And this is a ways watch. Certainly it's not a working one, but uh very details and with a um, leather belt and also spare hands with the ring oh oh this is bendable hands oh i thought that is not but when i saw this hold i i think that they are bendable yeah actually it's bendable so it's good So do this one. So it is a spare pair of bendable finger hands for these figures. And also the dagger. This ammo belt, the fabric ammo belt for you know so for the rifle or M1 Garand or maybe other rifle. 
anyway it is fabric one so they could contain some other spare bullet and magazines in the battlefield and let's see the box design the front wheel i'll show you just mainly the back size of this box because it shows all the accessory we including in this figure so it's very clear you know the jacket the m1 gallant rifle and the landing gear especially for the uh, beach landing gear the bangalore the tools and accessories to you know to when they have to do the landing attack and uh, leather boot I think uh, they changed to leather boot for a while because the the PVC leather could not be stayed too long so they changed to use genie leather for their boot so it could be a very long lasting accessory for the figures um, you can see there are tons of accessories and I think the the focal point is the saw container and the landing gear specifically for this figures I think uh, not all the landing gear is the same for this team so it's different I I remember that this jacket is specifically for the surgeon um, other private usually not using this kind of jacket let's go to the figures um, there is some discussion before they release the pictures official pictures of these figures uh, and then afterwards uh, the idea have changed the official pictures and changed the painting of the hair scrub so this is the final product so we could see them see it together so I show you this is this is metal and the M1 helmet doing really good and authentic in the shape it looks completely high standard it is a very high standard and um, you know also the interior is very accurate and the battle one painting doing really well so that is a typical and wonderful shape of M1 helmet of the US military in World War II I like the shape okay and goes to the let's go to the Hasbro so you guys to decide if this is a have a good likeliness of the actors uh, it looks a little bit thin, thinner in my point of view. Could be a little bit, you know, it looks a little bit thinner as I thought. Because uh, during the movie, you could see he might get his belly here. The body shape looks pretty okay for me. The head scrub um, looks a little bit thinner than I thought. But the paint job is really well. Very fine details with all the bead. So the details is fine for me. The landing equipment in here. This figure is completely the you know the full landing gear with him and with the garand rifle. Even with a grenade installed on his waist belt and uh, you know, maybe 
pistol magazine pouch life preservation belt when they are doing beach landing and this will be another accessory pouch probably a magazine pouch and the gas mask pouch this is a formal and ordinary landing requirement of the US infantry when they are landing on the Western Europe side the ranger badge the stash, the surgeon badge so all the thing is including with very fine details good stitching, good showing techniques all the fabric gears are in fabrics Certainly, there is no, there is, there is not a gas mark, including in the gas mark pouches. The gator is also in fabric. You know, when we start collecting dragon figures one six scale twenty years ago, we have all the plastic gated. Uh, I'm not complaining. It feels good, but you know, when we have could have seen the could have seen the fabric gator, it is very different things for all the collectors. It looks more realistic when we're posting the figures, more realistic with if we want to have a more high grade collectible figures for ourselves. And there is also a you know the genie ladder is really showing fabric shoes or boots. So for more than 20 years of development in the 1-6 scale figures for World War II era they becoming very very authentic with all the details made with all the correct fabrics all the fabrics in real life are, is, has been using on this 1-6 scale figures so they have already reached a very high standard so do the price <laughs> but, I feel, I, but I think in my personal point of view it's, it's still worth the price you know a lot of you know sewing technique and fabric have to be chosen or even tailor-made to make this appear in one six scale we can't we could not just you know search for one some you know real life fabric to do the same things we have to find a more thinner fabrics but with real right correct colors so usually they have to dye their own fabrics and then they have to show them very carefully with skillfully labors you know every pieces have to be handmade and also the accuracy and the authenticity of all the historical stuff now they are doing very fine with all the accuracies and we don't have to doubt about all the above problems and we just need to do you know pay for the price and you know put all the gears onto the figures and then it's completed a very high grade of displayable playable one six scale figures you know i'm always feeling gifted and very happy for those one six scale manufacturers and they did a very good job and with the you know reasonable price all the times however uh, i hope they can produce or manufacture more different varieties of the figures from world war ii era different countries like germans us russia italian french british or even different battles era like Napoleon like like Romans you know they can do that yeah but uh, I think uh, most collector have to pay for the price for this decent and very fine made collectibles I hope you enjoy this program sorry I have to speak slowly to to make my English more accurate and more you know you can understand what I'm saying so 
Sometimes I have to recall some, you know, specific name of the accessories. Decker, canteen, bandola, Bangalore. So many, so many very specific and professional for myself terms have to be remembered and to pronounce. So forgive me, I thought that I, I speak a little bit slower than usual. Thanks for watching Faker Talk. This is Brian O from Toys TV. I hope you enjoyed this program and please subscribe my own channel, Brian O channel, Toys TV channel, and all of our Facebook. Thanks you very much and good luck. See you soon.